Welcome to Taormina, the most beautiful place in Sicily. Not without reason, Taormina is located on the cliff overlooking the Blue Sea and in the background you can see the majestic Mount Etna. Without a doubt it is one of the most picturesque places we've ever been to. The town itself is very charming, full of narrow streets decorated with flowers. If you are curious what to see in Taormina, stay with us and don't forget to subscribe as we are already preparing another vlog from Sicily, this time from Palermo. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Currently we are in Sicily, more precisely in Taormina, which is the most beautiful place on the island. And we just experienced a volcanic eruption. This is what our terrace covered by volcanic dust from Etna looked like. Cleaning of the streets took several days. But let's go back to our vlog now. The best way to start a visit to Taormina is with a stroll along Corso Umberto Promenade, the town's main street where you'll find dozens of stores and restaurants. You can start your walk by entering through the Porta Catania gate or on the opposite side by entering through the Porta Messina gate. Walking down the promenade you will reach the most picturesque point of the city, which will remain in our memories for a long time. It is the 9th of April square with a church of San Agostino, the clock tower and another beautiful church of San Giuseppe, where you can often see the incredible movie-like weddings. The square offers a picturesque view of Mount Etna, the cliffs and the sea. We especially recommend going there at sunset. The main street is quite popular and crowded, so it's also worth taking a detour into the narrow side streets. There you will find a lot of charming corners, even more restaurants with checkered tablecloths and live music, as well as shops with local products. The restaurants in Taormina didn't blow us away. In Palermo you could eat much better and cheaper. We were knocked down by the prices on the main pedestrian street Corso Umberto. In some places even appetizers can cost up to 30 euros. We experienced a slight price shock after arriving from the island's capital. In Taormina it is definitely worth exploring the side streets, where you can eat much better than on the main street and pay significantly less. We visited many restaurants, but we can only recommend a few of them. One of them is La Bottega del Formaggio. It's actually a store with local products, which offers tastings. To our surprise, it was the best dining experience in the city of Taormina, a definite must visit. They serve boards of local cheeses and meats, the food is really amazing and the portions are huge. The plate may look inconspicuous, but we barely managed to finish it and we left feeling overeaten. It's worth making a reservation in advance because the place is quite busy. We started the next day with a traditional Sicilian breakfast, granita, which is a Sicilian dessert quite similar to a sorbet. In Taormina we can recommend a great place to try granita, it's called Bamba. Until midday it is visited by many Italian tourists eating traditional Sicilian breakfast, which consists not only of granita but also fresh brioche. There are many different flavors of granita available, but for the first time we would definitely recommend the most traditional one, which is the lemon granita. After breakfast we decided to see the nature reserve Isola Bella, which is the most picturesque landmark of Taormina. It is a tiny rocky island with beautiful Mediterranean flora, which is connected to the mainland by a rocky gravel passage. The best way to get to Isola Bella is by cable car, which runs from Taormina to Mazzaro. The one-way ticket is 3 euros. 
Of course, the day we decided to visit Isola Bella, the cable car was broken, so we just had to walk down the cliff, which ended up taking around 30 minutes. And while the way down was quite alright, we strongly advise against climbing up and probably the cable car will be the best choice here. Isola Bella is a place that every tourist wants to see, so the beach and the passage tend to be quite crowded. Apart from that, we do not recommend going there without water shoes. Unfortunately, we made this mistake. We couldn't really swim and we barely reached the island because the rocks are quite sharp and we ended up with some scratches. After a day of enjoying the beach and a little trouble getting back because unfortunately the cable car still wasn't working in the afternoon, we decided to go to the sky rooftop bar Tarmina, located in the Continental Hotel. It is a beautiful terrace at the top floor of the hotel with a great view of the Blue Sea and Etna Volcano. It is not the cheapest, cocktails cost around 10 euros, but it's definitely worth a visit as the views are amazing. I highly recommend my latest discovery, the Limoncello Spritz, which is a super refreshing summer drink. After that we returned to our apartment, which is also worth mentioning here as we were super happy with it. It had a brilliant location, basically everything was in a 5 minute walk away and the only downside was probably the price. In general, Sicily surprised us with prices quite negatively. We know that the prices this year have risen enormously and this apartment did cost us more than any other hotel before. We paid for it more than in Dubai for New Year's Eve, more than in Santorini which is also very expensive and more than in Positano, so basically three most expensive places we've ever been to. The next day we visited Villa Comunale di Taormina, which is a public garden definitely worth a visit, not only because the entrance is free, which doesn't happen very often in Sicily. Of course that's not the only reason, you'll find there beautiful greenery, not only Mediterranean, but also from more exotic places. It is a really nice getaway from a crowded city. In the gardens you will also find a funky pagoda and viewing terraces, they offer a fantastic view of Etna, the sea and the city below. Another place to visit is the ancient theater of Taormina, according to many the city's biggest attraction. Built in the 3rd century BC, it has been rebuilt several times to accommodate at its peak up to 10,000 spectators admiring the gladiator fights. The amphitheater offers a beautiful view of the slopes of Mount Etna. The only drawback may be the price of the admission. This pleasure costs as much as 13 and a half euros per person. Our stay in Taormina was truly magical, being in Sicily you simply cannot miss this place. You don't have to stay there for long, I think two days are enough to see basically everything. Of course this is not the end of our adventures in Sicily, stay tuned for another vlog from Palermo which will be completely different than this one, with lots of delicious Italian food, so don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you liked this episode. And of course if you want to stay up to date with our travels follow us on Instagram.